Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss the auxiliary nerve and how to test it. When you're looking at the brachial plexus, which is between C5 and actually T1, then the auxiliary nerve, it's not actually on this, it's actually like a small branch that comes off C5 and C6, and then it innervates the deltoid muscle and also a small muscle at the back, which is called the teres minor. If we have an inability to say abduct, so let's say the patient abducts, but when she holds her arm, hold your arm please, she's unable to hold it, and then when you feel the deltoid muscle, you don't feel a contracture, so you might notice that the muscle is atrophied, then that might indicate an auxiliary nerve palsy. What you have to be careful of is because that motion of shoulder abduction is mainly from C5 nerve root myotome. So if she's unable to lift it, then it might well be that there's a neck problem from C4, C5 affecting the C5 nerve root. So what you have to try to do is, is maybe ascertain if the supraspinatus is working because that is from the suprascapular nerve, which is also C5 and C6. And also, if there is an auxiliary nerve problem, the deltoid will switch off, but also the teres minor. So we can ask the patient to turn their arm back, as in going this way, so she can externally rotate. And then if you can feel and see the activation of the teres minor, as well as the deltoid, then you know the auxiliary nerve is okay. If you do not see activation of the deltoid and you do not feel activation of the teres minor, then more than likely you've got an auxiliary nerve problem. So just hold your arm up again. So if you just resist against me, push up, and you can feel it, then that's good. But if you don't, and you can also see the shape of the acromion, then that would be indicative. The auxiliary nerve also supplies an area of the arm called the regimental badge area. And if you're looking at my badge here, then that's the area it would be. So if a patient had a problem with the auxiliary nerve, then if you touched them lightly, then it might not be able to feel that. And I did have a patient once where I said he had an auxiliary nerve palsy, and when I touched him lightly, he actually felt it as pain. Why? Because the nerve was damaged and he couldn't decipher between, say, a light touch or something that was sharp in here. So I knew it was a problem with auxiliary nerve. It's commonly damaged, as in the nerve, if you dislocate the shoulder. Um, so if you have an anterior dislocation of the shoulder, sometimes when you dislocate, you can damage the nerve, or when it's relocated, they can sadly damage the nerve that way. So there's a discussion on the auxiliary nerve, and I hope you enjoyed the video.